In this video, you will learn how to properly rebuild a post using a post mold. To rebuild a post, you will need a post mold, a hammer, a wire brush, lead stick or burn bar, a pair of pliers, flame or heat source, and a container filled with cool water. After you've thoroughly cleaned the post with a wire brush, you are ready to start the rebuilding process. Before beginning the rebuilding process, be sure the vent caps are removed. This allows the hydrogen gas to escape from the cell chambers. This is especially important since we are using an open flame. Choose an appropriate post mold. In this video, we will demonstrate rebuilding a post with a standard post mold and Quick Cable's lead head post mold. This particular post mold will create a post tall enough to burn down and fill the lead head cavity, creating a tight seal. Be sure post mold is clean and free of debris before using. Place mold around post. Be sure mold is secure and flat. If necessary, use a hammer. Now that the mold is in place, get the flame ready. Only trained personnel should operate a fuel-based torch. We are using an oxygen acetylene mixture with a single orifice flame tip. Other desirable fuel mixtures are natural gas and oxygen or propane and oxygen. It's important to understand the properties of metal to ensure a proper weld. Lead alloy is a relatively soft metal, so it doesn't require extremely high temperatures to change to liquid form. Once you have your flame lit, you should adjust it to establish a medium flame. Adjust the oxygen and acetylene levels until you have a desirable inner cone. Begin applying heat to the post cavity by continuously moving the flame tip in a constant circular motion. Take great care in not keeping flame too static. This could damage the plastic cell tray or burn through the post cavity. Once the lead inside the post mold starts puddling, bring in the lead stick burn bar. Apply heat to the burn bar until the lead starts filling the post cavity. Alternate adding lead from the burn bar and applying heat to the cavity to keep the lead inside the cavity from hardening too soon. After you've filled the cavity to within 1 16th of an inch from the top of the post mold, continue to apply heat for a few more seconds. Give the new post a few seconds to harden and remove the post mold with a pair of pliers and dip in cool water. Okay, let's review. Clean the posts. Remove the vent caps. Place mold around the post. Set the flame. Apply heat to post cavity. Fill the cavity. Remove post mold. You've just rebuilt a new post. For more videos in our material handling series, visit quickhowto.com.